Hello, I'm Dr. Margaret Ames, and you're listening to Your Dental Health. The mission of the show is to get the word out about biomimetic dentistry. It's a major paradigm shift in dental care, and it's for you to experience more comfortable and less invasive and beautiful dentistry. I can be reached in my office in Huntington at 631-261-4525. That's 631-261-4525. Or go to my website at drames at drames.com. I'm a practicing dentist in the town of Huntington for over 20 years. Actually, I was pregnant with my daughter when I started practicing out here, and uh, she's 21. So um, I want to tell you about biomimetic dentistry, and then I'm going to tell you the topic will be about root canal therapy. A lot of people want to know about that. I mean, when I go to parties, I have to really be careful because I could be cornered by somebody who say they just had a really bad root canal. (laughs) So I know that people are afraid, but there's no need to be afraid. I had a patient fall asleep during a root canal. But anyway, the biomimetic dentistry means to mimic life. It's the future standard of care in dentistry. It's the future of dentistry. That's what the young people are learning. At USC, they're the first dental school in this country to embrace biomimetic or adhesive, advanced adhesive dentistry. Now, the students there also have to learn to do crowns because they have to do a crown to pass the boards. And many people have crowns that fail, so they have to redo the crowns. So biomimetic dentistry avoids crowns, avoids amputational tooth structure. The main goal of biomimetic dentistry is conservation and preservation of healthy tooth structure. So it's kind of neat when you have all your teeth restored, biomimetically rebuilt in the way that duplicates the actual uh, traits that a tooth has. The inside of the tooth is mostly dentin. There's a nerve in the middle and some blood vessels. And then the outside is enamel. So I rebuild the tooth so that I put in materials that mimic dentin and I put in materials on the outside of the tooth that mimic enamel. So by studying the natural properties of teeth, scientists came up with this really great way to restore teeth. And it's a little bit like hand washing. Before doctors washed their hands, before seeing a patient, before doing surgery, there was a lot of infections. So this brilliant man introduced the idea of hand washing so that the patients wouldn't die of infection, especially during childbirth. And eventually, the idea caught on. However, it was a long time, and people died. So, of course, this isn't life and death, uh, although it could be in some situations with a bad infection. But minimally invasive biomimetic dentistry is catching on slowly in dental schools, and by the time you hear about it uh, from other places, you're, you're going to have a tooth extracted because crowns fail. Catastrophic failures occur. A root canal is a catastrophic failure. So let me tell you about root canals. How do you know you need a root canal? Well, sometimes you don't, and sometimes you really do. I mean, that's a a very sad phone call. I save time in my schedule each day for patients that would call in an emergency. So what is a root canal? How do you know you need it? Well, one of the ways that you know you need it is that your dentist tells you. Another way that you know you need it is you call up and you say, Oh, my God, I have such a pain. I have to get in today. Please get me in. Uh, I'm starting to swell. Can I go on an antibiotic? And it's really, really sad. And it's important to avoid root canals. But if you need one, it's a great treatment. So you know you need a root canal if you're sensitive to hot and cold. Also, if you're sensitive to chewing or if you have swelling. Now, when you come into my office, I'll, of course, verify and do tests and make sure all these symptoms are, you know, Uh, This is the correct diagnosis because I wouldn't want to have you have a problem that wasn't a dental problem. It could be a sinus problem. It could be just tooth sensitivity down at the gum line. So everything gets verified. Um, So I put together the symptoms. I do a a test, a vitality test to see if it's alive. And you'll tell me. You'll say, it's this one. Or you'll say, I don't know where it is, but it's been hurting me for a week. So um, that's one way that you know you need a root canal. Another way that you know you need a root canal is when I would tell you. So I look at your x-rays, and I see, oh, there's a space in the bone that doesn't belong there. That's uh, what's called uh, without symptoms. So the patient will say to me, well, I I don't feel anything. Is it okay? So then I'll do the vitality test, and I'll prove to them that tooth does not respond. It doesn't respond when I put cold on it, and it doesn't respond to the tapping. So um, I do the percussion test and the ice test. 
So uh, if you're just joining me, I want to tell you that I'm Dr. Margaret Ames. You're listening to Your Dental Health. You can reach me in my office at 631-261-4525. That's 631-261-4525. So uh, with a root canal diagnosis, it absolutely has to be verified. Now, what is a root canal? Actually, back in the day, I took the Dale Carnegie course, and that changed my life. It was wonderful. And you give a little speech, one minute or two minutes, and I gave a talk about a root canal, and I won the pen. Like, there's 30 people in the class, and everybody was interested in root canals. So I still have that pen to this day. Um, So a root canal is actually a place in your tooth. It's a place where the circulation comes to. It keeps your tooth... Uh, brings nutrients to your tooth. It makes you feel things so that supposing you're at a restaurant and you bite down on a nut unexpectedly and you, you know, your mouth just immediately opens and you don't know why. Like, oh, I bit down on something. Then that's why um, we have the nerves in our teeth to tell us if something's too hot or too cold, to tell us if we bit down on something bad, to tell us if a tooth is too high and we're going to break it. So the nerve is a really important part of the tooth. That's the reason I love biomimetic dentistry. I want to avoid root canals. But let me get back to telling you what they are. So to do a root canal, I put the tooth to sleep with some Novocaine. And I'm really afraid of the Novocaine myself, so I really do a gentle job with that. And then uh, put on a a tooth raincoat. It's like a drop cloth around your tooth so that you can sit back, relax. We put a bolster under your knees, put a blanket over you, play nice music, and you can relax and relax. I can't say really enjoy, but some people do say, that's the most relaxed I've been all day because that was killing me. Another thing about diagnosing root canals is if you come in and you're not sure and you say to me, well, this one hurts and it hurts more when I lie down at night. When I lie down to go to sleep, I really feel it throbbing. I can almost say, yes, that needs a root canal, but of course you always verify it. So in doing root canal, you make sure the tooth is absolutely asleep. There's ways of verifying that. I go in very gently, give you something to rest on so that you don't have to be opening your mouth. There's a little tooth pillow I put in your mouth. And then I proceed to clean out the insides where the bacteria have infected the nerve of your tooth. Nerve, blood vessels, connective tissue, there's a lot of things inside your tooth. And it's really easy to do for me. Um, It's very straightforward. I clean it, um, irrigate it clean it out with some antimicrobials, and I also use ozone gas. Ozone, you might have heard of ozone. There's a layer in the sky that we know the ozone ozone layer may be being depleted. Um, But this ozone is medically used. It's a fascinating new technology. Google it if you want to. But ozone, um, after a thunderstorm, lightning storm, oxygen usually travels in, I know this is too scientific for you, but oxygen travels in pairs. It's usually O2. But in a lightning storm, some of the O2s break up into O1s, and those O1s don't like to be there. Oxygen doesn't like to be there by itself, so it hooks on to an O2, and we have O3. That's ozone. Every time your antibody in your body kills a germ anywhere in your body, the ozone is released by that antibody. That's how valuable this is. So we really sterilize, or as close to sterilization as you can do on a living person, the inside of your tooth before I fill it. So it just requires cleaning and shaping the canals, making sure that everything is just right. You you kind of have to go down to the exact right place and then put a filler in it so that bacteria can't get back in there. And then restore your tooth in a way. Now, when I was in dental school and the standard of care even today in the dentists that are doing 20th century dentistry is for for you anytime you need a root canal to put a crown on top of it to keep it from fracturing. 8% of what's done in dentistry today has been validated by hard science. 8%. So a lot of what we're doing is what dentists just tried over the years because they had no other choices. Now we have hard science to prove that the teeth is flexible. The teeth are flexible. And they really need to be restored with something that has some flexibility. So you'll be hearing more about this. If I were able to do it, I'd be on Oprah just telling people how important this is. Actually... When I learned this technique, and I knew it was the way to go, I knew it was the way of the future, I actually started an organization called the Academy of Biomimetic Dentistry. You can hear more, learn more about biomimetic dentistry 
by going online to www.findabiomimeticdentist. There's a place for patients. So um, there's lots to be learned about avoiding a root canal, but if you have to have one, your tooth is savable. We want to keep it flexible. We don't want to drill down and amputate a lot of good healthy stru- tooth structure just to fit a cap or a crown on there. So um, if you li- just tuned in, I'm Dr. Margaret Ames. You're listening to Your Dental Health. We're going to take a break. We've been talking about root canal therapy, how you can avoid it, and um, if you need to have it, what it's like. I'm happy to see you in my office at 631 261 4525. That's 631 261 4525. See you after the break. Bye bye. There's something about you, baby. 